Hello and welcome back my gardener friends. Today we're talking about my good friend the kale. Kale, I love you. I love you as a chip. I love you in a salad. I love you as a dressing. Kale, you have so many uses. You are so nutritious. Mmm. Mmm, yum, Kill. I love you. You make my heart happy. Here we have some green curly kale, and it's just growing out there sideways. Look at that. Look at that. Just whoosh. Don't matter now. It's gonna keep growing. That's lovely. Here we have some of that green kale that curly green kale and I chopped all of this at the end of the season last year and look at it it's starting to get leaves on it that's exciting there's one that popped up right back there too look at that hello this right here that's kill and you can see right down there on those nodules just starting to get a leaf forming so that's really neat. Look here, here's one further on in the process. So here you got the leaf right here. And this was chopped at the end of the season last year. <laughs> Look at that, it's growing right through these rocks right here. Look at that. These are rocks, it's just growing right through it. It's very healthy. Oh my goodness, look at it go. So you guys need a crop that you can kind of put in the ground that's a food crop start building that soil oh yeah kill kills a good candidate for you so you know we just got some chop and drop chop and drop right here so all this that's all the organic matter from the kill look at that that will start building all that soil There's some more of that green kale. And look at it. This one I didn't chop. And it's going crazy. Let's look right down in there. Those are the flower buds. Yeah. That's great. They'll come out and they'll be bright yellow. Brassica family. Brassica family has broccoli, and cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts, and kohlrabi. Do you guys want to see what a kohlrabi looks like? This here is a kohlrabi, and it's in its second year life cycle, so I can get seeds out of it. But down there at the bottom, that's the bulb. That's what they eat. It's pretty good. It's like, it tastes like broccoli and that kind of stuff in that family too. So we also have Brussels sprouts and they're getting ready to make flowers this year too. Let's hope they're not too close to each other that when they flower, they cross pollinate. Here's cabbage. We got leaf cabbage and head of cabbage. I'm hoping that they all flower at different times. Here's another kohlrabi. So these are all things that are in the Brassica family, which is where our friend Kale lives. This is a beauty. Look at this. Amazing. We didn't chop this one either, and it's got these lovely kale leaves. Look at that. That's the green kale right there. Green curly kale. Let's take a look right down here at the bottom. See these little nodules down here at the bottom? Let's get a look. Right there. Right there. That's where these little leaves came out. So it's shooting off new leaves. That's great. You can see right here where we've harvested some and ate some. 
Yum. And it's on its second year. Biannual, which means it's gonna flower and it's gonna give us viable seeds. Super excited. All right, what we have here, right here, this is the mother plant and it was a red kale. This here is one of its babies. So at the end of this guy, this one, it's life cycle. It has little tiny pods, like so. And they got little tiny seeds in them. We'll look at some seeds here in a little bit. And I just sprinkled some right in here. And look, we got some popping up. We got a red kale popping here. Yay! Here's a red kale. Let's see if we can find one that is just recently germinated. Cause the weather just warmed up. Right, right down there. Here we have little tiny red kills just popping out. Good morning, red kill. Here's one, and here's one. When I collected the seeds at the end of the year, I sprinkled some here, and as soon as the soil warmed up, out popped these guys. We got germination. Very exciting. Well, they'll germinate as low a temperature as 45 Fahrenheit and as high as about 85 Fahrenheit. Good morning. Good morning. Once the soil is warm enough, they'll pop right out. Germination takes approximately five to seven days. I've seen it go as long as even 10. Good morning. Welcome. We're excited to see you. Here is some red kale. I chopped it at the end of the season last year. And it wintered over, growing through the snow and everything. They are very cold hardy. And as soon as it got warm, we got new edible leaves. Well, looky down in there. Turns out we're not the only ones that like to eat those leaves. Slug, hey, you're out of here. You're out of here. Oh, yeah, you're out of here. Our slug population can be quite persistent here in the Northwest. Hello. Are you also trying to get after some of my uh, vegetables? Uh, no, thank you. You are evicted. Out of the garden. Let's take a look here. This is red kale that wintered over. Are you sure it wintered over? Looks like it might be dead. No, it's not. Let's get a closer look, huh? Let's get a close look. Here we go. Let's get a look right down in there. Oh, is that a new leaf? Oh, that's exciting. On each one of these little nodules, boom, 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 we'll get all new leaves. Oh yes, just turn around and see. There's some more new ones. I can see I probably should chop the top of this a little bit. We'll chop it right where we see the difference in the growth. Right there.
Are you sure it's not dead? Oh, I'm sure. Let's get a gander. Go ahead, Sky. That's a red kill that went through the snow this year. And all those leaves, they were beautiful right up until the frost pretty much has started to go away. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll shed all these old leaves. And what will we do? We'll start popping out some new ones. Kale is biannual, so we just let it go on its life cycle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how exciting is that? All right, here we have some kale seeds. I'm putting in a new variety. The more variety of kale, the better. I'm excited about it. Here are the seeds, let's get a look. Well, they ain't very big now. Nice and round. And that's what you'll find at the pods at the end of the season, after the flowers have done their thing and brought in the pollinators. This is what you'll get out of those pods. Right there. All right, let's sow some new uh, kales in there and get more variety. Oh yeah. You know guys, with so much variety in kale, go out and get yourself some. Go pick you out a couple different kinds of kale and look at right there. Cold, hardy, good to go, high vitamins. There you go. Go pick you up some kale seeds now. Alright guys, happy gardening.